This is a $100 mini PC, and I'm going to be upgrading it to see if I can get more FPS. So I reviewed this PC a few months ago, and at that time, it can only run around 35 FPS. All right, so I'm just going to be starting off with some very basic tweaks, basically simple stuff like Fortnite settings and power options. Then we're going to be moving on to the registry tweaks. So starting off, we're just going to be doing power options. Obviously, we're going to be creating a high performance power option. So we're just going to be creating a plan. Click on high performance, name it whatever you want. Make sure both of these are on never. Click on create and there we go. We have high performance. The next thing is Xbox game bar. You want to make sure this is off. Since this PC, I can't even record. That's why I'm just showing you guys through my POV. Make sure game mode is on though, since it optimizes your PC. Okay, so now for in-depth tweaking, we're gonna be using this PC tweaks pack. You guys can find it in my Discord, which will be linked in the description. So I'm not gonna be using everything since this PC has four gigabytes of RAM, and I don't wanna overkill this PC. Since Fortnite is already taking up 90% of its storage, I'm just gonna be using like the most important tweaks. So in batch optimization, I'm just gonna be using the disable HPT and the clear DNS catch. So go ahead and run those. Press any key, boom. Same for here, press any key, just like that. Now I'm not gonna be using the config file since in my last video when I used this PC, I already used this config file. Now for the FPS section, I'm just gonna be using the tweaks, power tweaks, and waking up all cores. Now, the reason why I didn't run the prevent unnecessary apps from opening in the background is because this PC literally has nothing, like I said. But if you guys have like a bunch of apps, go ahead and run that because it will help. So like if you have like a mouse software, keyboard software, Spotify, all that random stuff just opening when you open up your PC, you can prevent them from opening up while you're playing Fortnite. Now under input delay fix, I'm just going to be running the Xander Bats tweaks. Go ahead and run that. If you guys want to tweak your internet, you guys can go ahead, but we're not really focusing on that right now. And you guys can use Adam X's power plan, but I'm just going to be using high performance since I don't want to overkill it, like I said. And just like that, we ran a few tweaks. Let's see how much this helped with our FPS. All right, so I loaded up Fortnite. We are getting around 75 average FPS. That's honestly not that bad compared to when we first had around 30 FPS. So we kind of like doubled our FPS. I still feel that there is like a major delay, like right there. But it's more playable compared to before when we did no tweaks. I do notice that there is a pretty bad FPS stutter. Sometimes it is at 110 and then it drops down to around 70. Bro, where does this guy go? 17. Oh, crap. Come down. 24. Hit him again. Edit. Oh my God, the aiming. There is a pretty bad delay. Crack. Edit, edit, edit. Let's go. Okay. Like when it gets into like more intense fights, I do see it dropping to 50. But like I said, not complaining too much compared to what we had before. Oh, what the? Oh my, the delay. Edit. Oh, oh, okay. We going crazy, okay. Didn't even know we we're gonna hit that, but. I guess we're just crazy like that okay so overall we did increase our fps although it's not that much you basically can't even complain since this pc has four gigabytes of ram and it costs literally a hundred dollars but running 60 fps on this pc is still a great playing experience